Gen AI is everywhere. You can obviously use any of the frontier model like Gemini 2.5, but many of our users want to run their models themselves for best cost to performance ratio, as well as full control over their data and the frameworks. My name is Mofi. I'm a developer advocate in the GK team, and I have here with me. Hi, I'm Vaibhav. I'm a product manager in Google Cloud, working on optimized AI inference solutions on Google Cloud. Today, I'm here to talk to you about GK Inference Gateway. So happy to be here. Thanks, Mofi. Running LLMs on Kubernetes comes up with certain considerations that customers have to manage. First is that capacity of GPU and TPU infrastructure is still constrained across different regions and different providers, and customers have to plan and really operationalize around these considerations. Secondly, when you look at the LLM workload profiles, they are quite dramatically different than traditional web workloads. And so as a result, the way traffic is distributed across your backends and how do you make optimal use of your backend capacity is still something that is a struggle for customers. And finally, the amount of compute to allocate for every single model is something that customers really consider top of mind, given that these GPU TPUs are expensive compared to traditional compute. We are solving all of these problems with novel enhancements in GKE with GK Inference Gateway. GK Inference Gateway is not a net new product. It is really a significant enhancement over the existing GK Gateway. So GK Inference Gateway is available in public preview today. You can now actually go in into your Google Cloud projects today and start using it. So let's get into some of the features of GK Inference Gateway. First, we have enhanced the load balancing algorithm in GK Gateway tailored towards the unique requirements of serving LM workloads. We can also auto scale based on metrics coming from the model servers that allows you to more better allocate optimal compute capacity without impacting performance. These enhancements allow you to obtain lower latency serving, giving your users a more snappy and better user experience as well as high throughput and token generation. Next, we are able to pack in multiple LoRa fine-tuned models on common GPU TPU pool, allowing you to make more efficient use of your GPU TPU infrastructure and also lower your cost as a result. As we know that GPU TPU capacity is still constrained across different regions. So GK Inference Gateway can pool in GPU TPU capacity across multiple Google Cloud regions and dynamically serve from the region wherever the capacity is available. And next, as we know that the LLMs themselves can be an attack surface. They could be jailbroken, they could be susceptible to attacks like prompt injections, they could leak customer sensitive information, or even serve like harmful content. And so you need a set of AI safety and security guardrails against all of this. Now, traditionally, developers have had to build this into their own applications which also is a fragmented approach and hard to manage and govern centrally. With GK Inference Gateway, we have embedded AI security and safety right at the gateway itself, allowing consistent protection and coverage against uh, for AI safety and security guardrails for all models running across your cluster. We have integrations with Google Cloud Model Armor, as well as upcoming integrations with Palo Alto Network's AI Runtime Security Service, NVIDIA's Nemo guardrails. And we've also enhanced cloud monitoring dashboards to provide you end-to-end -end observability of your inference metrics from the gateway as well as from the model servers. AI inference workloads have highly variable processing time from seconds to minutes. Each AI inference request is also much more computationally intensive compared to traditional web requests. Because of this high variability, using a round-robin routing can lead us to send a request to a GPU that is already oversubscribed, leading to high wait time for each of those requests and leading to a poor user experience. So how do we improve this? Based on a bunch of benchmarks that we ran, we found out that KV cache utilization and the pending request gave us the best signal to find out which GPU are least utilized. Using this metrics in GK Inference Gateway, we can route traffic to the GPU that can give you the best performance and the lowest latency. So let's look at this in a real world example, right? So here we have got a Llama 2 model that we are serving using VLM on some H100s. We have got six model replicas and we have run like a shared GPT data set with some increasing QPS load, going for about like 100, 200 QPS. 
And so what we find out is that using traditional load balancing, there's a lot of variability in utilization of your KV cache across your different replicas. Some of them are like barely at 50% utilization and others are actually getting saturated. And when we see that, especially as some of these model replicas get saturated or reach high utilization, that the requests start to get queued up at the model servers. On the other hand, in GK Inference Gateway, because we are load balancing based on the KV cache utilization, we actually see that even across that same load, none of the models actually got saturated. And we were always able to relatively maintain a consistent level of KV cache across the entire load run. Under the same load, we actually observed no queuing in this particular benchmark run. What that means from a performance perspective is that as these requests start to get queued up, on traditional load balancing, we see that your serving latency starts to spike up. This is both your time to first token latency, average token output generation latency, as well as throughput. On the other hand, with GK Inference Gateway, we see that under the same load conditions, we actually never observed any kind of queuing and the latency response time was actually consistently low even under heavy load conditions. What this means is that GK Inference Gateway can not only provide you with a more predictable and lower latency, but actually using your same amount of GPU TPU capacity can actually accommodate a more heavy, higher QPS load without any undue impact to your serving performance. As you may already know, GPUs and TPUs are very highly on demand resources that often are low on capacity in different regions. Right now, if you have to build an application and target a specific region, if that region were to be low on capacity, applications will have to have that logic built in internally to be able to route somewhere else if the resources are available in a different region per se. With GK Inference Gateway, you'll be able to pull capacity across multiple Google Cloud regions. In case of capacity issues in the preferred or primary region, the GK Gateway will automatically route the request to the alternative region which has available capacity. So you can create high-scale AI services that are resilient to demand surges and regional capacity issues. Now, the other aspect is, as we are serving different kinds of models across your GPU TPU pool, different workloads have different considerations in terms of performance. Your chatbots are very sensitive to serving latency and the time to force token output. On the other hand, a reasoning model might be more sensitive to token generation throughput versus the actual latency itself. GK Inference Gateway is able to serve based on the unique performance requirements of every single model and workload. For example, you can say that your chatbot models are a higher critical priority than let's say a reasoning model or let's say a batch workload. And as a result, the GK Inference Gateway is gonna preferentially route traffic that is for those models, allowing you to ensure that you can serve multiple families of models across your infrastructure with the right user experience. GK Inference Gateway is built on an open and extensible architecture. Underneath the Kubernetes Gateway API is Google Cloud's load balancing, which using extensions has been enhanced to be tailored for inference workloads. The first enhancement we have made is rather than routing only based on the header of the request, we actually look at the body of the request supporting the OpenAI API spec and use the model name from the body of the request for this API spec to actually route to the model endpoint. Next, using another set of extensions, we are also able to make callouts to AI safety and security services like Google Cloud Model Armor. And then finally, we have a process that is pulling metrics from the model server, things like KV cache utilization and outstanding queue length, and selecting which is the optimal model replica to route the traffic to. And this information is being propagated to the gateway, which then routes the traffic across your model replicas. In this video, we learned about GK Inference Gateway and how it can improve the experience of both Kubernetes operators and users of Gen AI applications. If you want to learn more about Inference Gateway, you can check out the documentation linked in the description below. We are excited for you to try out GK Inference Gateway in your environment and help you get the best price performance and user experience for your Gen AI workloads.